all the things that I've seen in Chicago, I've seen a lot. One thing that I have not seen is uh, someone drinking a nice cold brew at 7.30 in the morning. Huh. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Southside Fishing. I'm your host, Nick. Today, we are talking about something that has been on my mind for uh, a while now, ever since I got these two reels. Um, and we're, I mean, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between the Shimano Corrado K and the uh, Daiwa Tatula CT Type R. Now, if you are not at all interested in reel specs um, and all that nerdy stuff, get out of here because that's what I'm gonna be talking about. So, this is fair warning. Um, if you don't like that stuff, you're gonna get bored out. But if you do, well, this video is for you. So, so let's, uh, let's get into the video. Let's start talking about some specs. So, this has been a topic that has been discussed between aficionados for a very long time. Shimano or Daiwa. They're both Japanese companies, which means they're both putting out high quality stuff. Um, you're getting a good reel, whatever you go with. But when you boil it down, there are some key differences that I'm gonna talk to you about right now. So the reason I chose these two specific reels is because they're the pretty much the exact same price, 180 bucks. Um, and I think that's high enough in price to where you're getting some really good components in the reels, but also low enough in price where it's not super, super, super expensive. Don't get me wrong, 180 bucks is a lot of dough, but it's not 700 bucks, it's not 500 bucks, which some of these reels from these companies can cost. So I'm gonna start with the Corrado first, just because that's the one I have in my hand right now. So the frame is actually made from a mixture of their CI4 Plus and aluminum. They say they, that it makes it a lightweight reel, they say that it's not lightweight it's a 200 size reel so it's got a pretty big spool in here it's it's pretty heavy i mean it's it's not light um compared to some of the other reels that i have it's pretty pretty heavy reel so in my opinion a lot of shimano's tend to be um heavier than die was so keep that in mind it's got an aluminum spool um it comes with their micro module gearing which is supposed to be very very fine-tuned precise gearing to where you will not be able to feel the gears at all and i can attest to that that is is very true um when even when you reel it real slow you really cannot feel the gears so props to shimano on making some pretty good gears i mean that is one of the things that they're really known for is is high quality gears because of the fact that they make professional bike gears as well so um they really got the gearing down on that one So the braking that comes with the Shimano is, um, it's their SVS Infinity braking system, which is a centrifugal braking system. If you don't know what that is, it uses this centrifugal force when you cast to uh, apply these knobs to the spool basically and, uh, and, and break it that way. One gripe that a lot of people have with Shimano's is that they, when they want to change the brake or adjust the brake, they, and they don't want to do it on the fine tune adjustments, which is from this knob on the outside, they have to pop open that side plate as you saw, and they have to flip up and down the, uh, the little brake feet basically so a lot of people don't like that because it takes a little bit more time um, or Daiwa they just have a dial and it takes like no time at all so that's something to think about now for this reel in particular let's just say um, the crowd okay I, I find that it casts heavier baits you know medium to heavier baits a lot better than uh, than light baits and this because of the sheer size. I mean, it's got uh, six shielded bearings, so you can technically fish this in salt water, which is kind of what they envisioned on this reel specifically. But um, I don't think you can fine tune this enough to throw light baits as well as, as uh, some diodes, basically, so. But, I mean, you're not always throwing light baits, so um, this throws pretty much everything else fantastically. There you are. So now we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the Daiwa. I just don't know if I can, if this, if this, is this, it's tilted a little bit. So, Daiwa, um, the main thing that they are known for is their TWS casting system, basically. That TWS stands for T-wing system, and um, as you can see in the close-up, that line guide, it's basically shaped like a T. And when you hit that bail release, the line guide also moves as well. What they say that does is it gets you a farther cast, which I can attest to, and a more accurate cast, as well as reducing backlash. All of these things I have tested and I find are, are pretty much true. You didn't think I was gonna do the whole review like this, did you? Now, the kind of braking system that Daiwa uses is they call it their Mag4C braking system. 
which is a magnetic braking system and how that works when you start to cast there is a what they call an inductor cup it retracts from the magnet so there is absolutely no magnetic braking going on at that time now once the spool starts to meet its maximum speed those brakes start to reapply and you get a, a very smooth transitional brake to prevent overrun um, which is basically a backlash. As far as I know on the market, there's no one that does their braking system like this, and I really think it, it excels. And the Daiwas are fantastic for casting really any baits, um, light baits, super light baits. You'd be surprised how light of a bait you can cast on a bait caster um, when you're using a Daiwa. Um, all the way up to some pretty heavy baits as well. So I kind of favor their braking system um, over the Shimano's. And the spool is aluminum, same as the Corrado K. Um, they just claim that it's Air Force grade aluminum spool. So whatever that means, it's it's aluminum. It also has a aluminum frame. And it's also got their Zion Star Drag here. It's basically, I think Zion's just a material that they came up with that's supposed to be really lightweight um, and really durable. Now this reel comes with eight bearings, whereas the Corrado K came with, uh, with six bearings you've got two corrosion resistant bearings five regular stainless steel ball bearings and then one roller bearing which means when you're reeling this thing in it is super 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 smooth their drag system is is also a carbon drag system which i think 13.2 pounds of drag whereas the corrado k produces i believe around 11 pounds of drag so you're getting a little bit more drag out of this um, gonna be able to winch some fish out of some some heavy cover uh, a little bit more easy without having to worry about your drag slipping enough of the boring uh, Technical sh Hope you enjoy the video hope you get a little bit of a better understanding between the two companies Daiwa and Shimano like I said before previously they're both Japanese made reels so they're gonna be good no matter what you get um, there, but like I said, and I just showed, there are some very fine tuned things that are kind of bringing Daiwa a little bit above Shimano. So let me know what you guys think. If you've ever used any of these, these two real companies, most of you probably have. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. Like I said, you know, subscribe if you're new, if you're new, what up? This is what we do on the channel. We fish and we give some information. So I'm getting a phone call that I gotta go answer. Guys, go check out the shirts. Link in the description. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the next video of Southside Fishing. Thank you. Hello.